when it comes to designing rcc beams engineers have the option to choose between singly and doubly reinforced beams but what exactly is the difference between the two and when should one be used over the other in this lecture we will explore the key differences between the singly and doubly reinforced beams and discuss the various scenarios in which each type of beam is most appropriate a singly reinforced beam is a type of beam that has steel reinforcement in the tension zone only this type of beam is typically used in situations where the load on the beam is relatively small and the concrete is strong enough to handle the compression forces without reinforcement however it's not feasible to only have reinforcement in the tension zone as we need to hold the stirrups in position as a result the is code suggests us to provide at least two reinforcement bars in the compression zone to hold the stirrups in position on the other hand a doubly reinforced beam has steel reinforcement in both the tension and compression zones this type of beam is used in situations where the load on the beam is greater and the concrete alone is not strong enough to handle the compression forces such conditions arise when the depth of the beam is limited and the strength available from a singly reinforced section is not sufficient enough to withstand the bending moment with only the tension reinforcement for example if the floor height is not sufficient enough to accommodate the required depth of a singly reinforced beam in such cases we increase the reinforcement of the beam to accommodate the limited depth increasing the amount of steel only in the tension zone may not be sufficient to increase the moment of resistance thus a doubly reinforced beam is adopted to increase the strength in beams with limited dimensions in conclusion the choice between a singly and doubly reinforced beam depends on the load which the beam has to carry and the strength of the concrete if the load is relatively small and the concrete is strong enough to handle the compression without reinforcement a singly reinforced beam may be used however if the load is greater and the concrete alone is not strong enough to handle the compression forces a doubly reinforced beam is necessary so whether you are a structural engineer an architecture student or simply interested in civil engineering understanding the difference between singly and doubly reinforced beams is an essential part of the design process i hope this video has given you a clear understanding of when each type of beam is most appropriate and the key differences between them